In this video, I'll show you how to sum a column based on the values in another column using the sum if and sum ifs formulas. Okay, so I have a data set over here and I want to sum the sales based on the values in the ratings column over here. And these are the criteria I want to use. So I want the sums in three buckets. The first bucket is the good category, which is whenever the rating is over 9.0. I want to sum all sales for all products which have a rating of over 9.0. The second bucket is average. And in this bucket, there are two criteria. The first criteria is that the rating has to be equal or greater than 6.0. And the second criteria is that the rating must be smaller or equal to 9.0. And finally, there's the low bucket. And in this bucket, all ratings are under 6.0. So I want to sum the sales based on these three criteria. And without further ado, let's begin doing that. So I'm going to be using the sum if and sum ifs formula in order to achieve this. And here's how it goes. So for the first bucket, which is the good bucket, where the ratings are over 9.0, there's only one criteria. So in this case, I'm going to be using the sum if formula. And here's how it goes. So I'll write sum if. The first thing I have to put in is the range. So this is the criteria range. So I'll select this range over here, which is the rating field. And then I'll click on comma, and I'll put in the criteria. Now, the thing about the criteria is, we need to put the criteria within double quotations. Since our criteria is greater than a certain number and it's not equal to a certain value, we need to put it inside double quotations. So this is very important. Otherwise, the formula won't work. So I'll start with double quotation. Then I'll put equal to 9.0 in this case. A closing double quotation. Now it's time to put comma. And now I'll put the sum range, which is the sales column values. And close parentheses and enter. And as easy as that, we have the sum of sales for all products which have a rating of over 9.0. Okay, so now let's move on to calculating the sum for the average bucket. That is, whenever the rating is greater or equal to 6.0, and the rating is also smaller or equal to 9.0. So as you can see here, we have two criteria as opposed to one. So we have to use the sum ifs formula as opposed to using the sum if formula. So here's how it goes. Equal sign, sum ifs, open parentheses. So there are some small differences between the sum ifs and sum if formula. And the main difference is that the sum range has to come first in the sum ifs formula, as opposed to the sum if formula where we first enter the criteria and criteria range. Here, we first enter the sum range and then we enter the criteria as couples. And here's how it goes. So first I'll enter the sum range, which is the sales. Then I'll put comma. Now I can input all my criteria after the sum range. And the criteria have to come in as couples. And here's how it goes. The first criteria is the rating being equal or greater than 6.0. So first I'll select the criteria range and now I'll put in my criteria, which is comma. I'll put a double quotation. Now the criteria is that that rating should be greater or equal to 6.0. Closing double quotations. Now I'll move on to my second criteria. So as you can see, we can input as many criteria as we want after we input the sum range. So the second criteria range is the same thing, but the criteria is obviously different. So I'll in I inputted the criteria range, then I'll put comma, and again, double quotations. This time it should be smaller or equal to 9.0. So I'll put smaller equal to 9.0, and closing double quotations and closing parentheses. So as you can see here, we first entered the sum range, then we entered our criteria, our two criteria in couples over here. And now I'll click on enter. And as you can see here, this conditional if statement has calculated 
the sales whenever the rating is greater or equal to 6.0 and the rating is also smaller or equal to 9.0. So this is the sum over here. And last but not least, we will calculate the sum of sales for the low bucket. That is whenever the rating is smaller than 6.0. And that's gonna be pretty similar to what we did for the good bucket. Uh, we're going to be using the sum if formula again this time. So just like we did for the good bucket, we'll start off by putting equal sign, sum if, and then we'll enter the range first this time, that is the criteria range. So the criteria range is the rating field. And now that we put in the criteria range, we will put in the criteria after a comma. So we will input the criteria within double quotations. So the criteria is smaller than 6.0. After we put it in the criteria, we put in another comma. And this time, the ending argument will be the sum range, which is the sales range. And close parentheses, and then enter. And as easy as that, we were able to sum columns based on criteria from different columns. I hope you got some value out of this video and found it useful. If yes, make sure you hit like so that this video gets promoted to more and more people. Also, if you like my content, make sure you hit subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos. That's all for today. Bye now.